When you're playing and chatting on an online multiplayer game on your PS4 or PS5, with the overlays and alerts of Livestream Studio, you'll likely want your live streaming audience to hear your teammates. Then your broadcast audience can hear all the shot calls, jokes, and camaraderie your friends are bringing to the experience, and not just hear you. There are a few different ways to make this happen both on your console or with the help of Livestream Studio. Streaming audio chat straight from your PlayStation's broadcast menu and into Livestream Studio may seem like the most straightforward way to share multiplayer chat with the overlay and alert benefits of Livestream Studio, but it comes with some caveats. Many games don't allow broadcasting in-game voice chat. Look into the specific game you plan to stream. You may be out of luck with that one game you wanted to broadcast chat with. However, you can work around this on your PS5 or PS4 by you or one of your friends creating a party on your PlayStation. Once everybody is in the party, they can opt into broadcasting their audio by going into their party settings and setting the allow your voice to be shared option to always allow. On a PS4, the one broadcasting the game will press the share button on their controller and select broadcast gameplay, selecting Twitch. Make sure you're sharing your microphone audio, set your settings, and start broadcasting. The next screen will ask if you want to include party audio. Select yes to share chat audio and start broadcasting. On a PS5, the one broadcasting the game will press the create button on their controller and choose broadcast. Select the three dot button on the right of the Twitch's go live button and then broadcast options. Toggle include voice chat audio on. Then back out to the broadcast menu and select go live to begin. To work around all the possible challenges with broadcasting chat audio directly from the console, you can use a combination of Lightstream Studio and the browser version of Discord to broadcast a Discord audio chat with your friends. First, make sure you're logged into both Lightstream Studio and Discord using a browser that supports screen share audio. Then, once you've started a Discord voice chat, add a screen share layer in your Lightstream Studio Gamer project and choose your Discord tab. Make sure Share tab audio is checked before confirming. From here, you can hide the visual of the Discord window and keep the audio source in your audio mixer. Now all your friends' audio is included in your Livestream Studio broadcast. Make sure your audience can hear you by adding your own mic into the audio mixer and adjusting its level to match your parties. You can also use the Screen Share feature to add background music to your live stream. You can check out our video on our browser screen share feature to add background music through other services. If you're using a desktop app to chat with friends or prefer using the desktop Discord app, you can route the sound from the app into Lightstream Studio with what are known as virtual audio cables. These are essentially third-party computer plugin applications that route audio from a computer app as an audio source for another app. Then you can add that virtual audio cable's routed audio as a source in Lightstream Studio. Please refer to our support article on virtual audio cables linked in the description to learn more. And speaking of which, check out the other tutorials on our YouTube channel or our knowledge base at golightstream.com to learn how to make the best out of Lightstream Studio.